You're on. I'm on. What's up, bomb squad? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a bitter day over here in Sleeping Moss Beach. <laughs> um, suffered my first loss Saturday night. Um, you know, it's it's weird. It's really weird. I it doesn't feel like it actually happened. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel real right now. Um, I've been kind of you know going through it in my own ways these past couple of days, and uh, it sucks. It really, it really is a shitty feeling. It really, really doesn't feel good, and you know, especially the way it went down, um, makes it a little bit worse. But I mean, there's not much to be said. You know, I. Uh, there's definitely no excuses to be made. I I wasn't myself. I I didn't really uh, step in there and rise to the occasion like I usually do. I I didn't fight. I feel to my potential by any means. Um, I found myself doing things that I didn't know while I was doing them. I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, it turns out it, it wasn't my night. It was it was his night. On Saturday, so just got to uh, figure out what's next and, and keep moving. We uh, we give Bellator the call already. Today is Monday, so we give about we give them you know the heads up that I'm looking to fight. Um, I want to fight before the end of the year. Uh, there's definitely some something to be said for the long layoff, and um, and I hope to not have to battle that that battle in my next fight. You know, I want to I want to fight again as soon as possible so I can. Um, keep the feeling of, of battle fresh and um, you know use it to fuel my fire for my next fight um, there's things in camp that I'm gonna look back on and adjust uh, you know of course there's a lot of things I did that I liked in camp and some things that did not happen that that must happen um, You know, I, I realize more and more that I'm the captain of this ship, and I have to make sure that it sails in the in the direction I want. And I can't wait for anybody. I can't wait for anyone. And um, I need to uh, I need to ensure that those things are happening. And just uh, just find my way forward. You know, I've had nothing but love and support from everybody um, that I've talked to. And I, and, I, and I appreciate it, you know, and I'm sorry that I have to put you guys in this situation as well, you know, to have to say something to me um, when you see me because uh, I know you guys care, but I hate that I'm making you guys show it by saying something, you know. It fucking sucks. Um, these two goombats behind me make everything a little better. <laughs> um... You know, Lauren, my baby, of course, is always solid. Talking about it when I need to and chilling when I don't. Um, we've probably watched about 12 hours of Game of Thrones in the past 15 hours of life. <laughs> yeah, I don't got much to do, you know. I just just re recovering, you know, this is kind of... This is a new one for me. This is a new experience for me. This is a new fucking feeling for me. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to deal with it. And uh, it makes me feel bad for, for all my previous opponents that I gave them this feeling and it makes me feel even worse for all my future opponents. Cause I'm gonna fucking give them this feeling. Yeah, man, just, it sucks. I'm, I'm almost, I'm happy that you guys have this experience, you know, especially if you've been following along with me and, and kind of going through the emotional roller coaster. Um, I'm, I'm glad that you guys can, you know, see what it's like. And it's like I told Eli, I just, I just want to do monologue this week. I just want to, um, you know, first of all, show people that I'm not dead. <laughs> I feel like I have like almost like a stigma around me right now. And, 
you know, if I see you, you can touch me. I don't have like the plague or something, you know, you can say hi. It's all good. Um, I'm just going to be, you know, it's like, it's like my good friend just told me, you know, it's, it's going to sting, you know, and there's nothing anybody can do about that, but it's, you know, it's what we do after. So, uh, I'm looking to get that second part going as soon as possible um, to get my head right off of this first part. Um, that's about it. I'm going to go work with uh, or talk with Toby probably later this week. Kind of see where he sits with everything and um, what his plan of action would be. But like I said, the first thing the first is going to be some changes that I'm making in my camp. And um, not dramatic, not dramatic, you know. I don't want to re rewrite the book, you know. I don't want to reinvent the wheel. Um, just little things, you know. Um, and it, uh, actually, in particular, a lot of things that I was picking up from um, Joe Lozon that we were talking about on my most recent Boston trip. So some, some changes there and uh, hopefully get a date as soon as possible. I know they got a handful of cards before Christmas, so anything like that would be freaking awesome. Um, anybody, you know, it sucks. I, I'm so ambitious and so hungry and I, you know, I have all this drive, you know, um, and where I want my career to go and then this is gonna be a little speed bump, so. Sucks, I wanna call out some big names, but uh, we gotta kind of see what happens now, and see what the uh, what the company wants to do with me to to get me going again. Um, to this point, like I, I still believe they've been nothing but good for, to me. Um, I think Goichi is a is a good fight for me. I think um, Saturday was just a bad night for me. Um, I want to get my 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 momentum going back again, and. Uh, of course, obviously working for that belt, uh, whatever that means at this point, and um, and I want to I want to fight Goichi again as soon as they'll give me an opportunity. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today, you guys. I'm gonna just go back to watching Game of Thrones or doing more nothing and just kind of sulking it for for a day or two here. Um, allow my body to kind of heal. My shoulder is a little jacked up just from sitting in the little plot, I think. Um, back to class tomorrow. I'm going to go teach tomorrow. And, um, you know, it's, it's tough right now seeing people, but, uh, but let's get it over with, you know. Let's go see everybody that I need to see and um, say hi to everybody again. Let everyone know that I'm fine, I'm okay, and I'm... And I'm just looking forward to coming back and and um, <clears throat> making some significant improvements on my uh, on my mentality, on my fight game, on 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 everything that needs to be improved upon. So, that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, stay tuned because we're still gonna chop together um, some of the good that was this weekend, and and you know. It's, it's it's a rough sport. It's a hor it was a horrible three minutes, the worst three minutes that I've ever fought in my life. But besides that three minutes, like I spent four days of good, you know, with good energy, uh, a good weight cut, a good corner, um, good warm up, you know, like everything was good. Um, so we're still gonna take those good aspects and uh, show you guys a little bit what it was like here and there um, from the behind the scenes stuff coming out. So that'll be coming out. Uh, maybe next week or, or around then. So, again, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys soon.